I think in Kenya Flower Council we have a standard. The standard is Flowers and Ornamental Sustainability Standard. And uh, the standard has references to regulations coming from the government. For example, we have uh, references on environmental uh, conservation, we have references on phytosanitary and uh, sanitary, and we have also regulation referring to the Directorate of Occupational Health and Safety. The, re the references we have require the farmers to ensure compliance. The Kenya Flower Council Flowers and Metal Sustainability Standard is a standard which has a theme addressing socio-economic sustainability as well as environmental sustainability. Therefore, these themes are addressed by having various chapters in the standard. For example, we have the human resource chapter, which covers the social part. Also, the health and safety occupation, health and safety section, which also dealing with the social. And also the environmental chapter, dealing with the environment. And other chapters, for example, crop production, which deals with good agriculture practices how to maintain the equipment to ensure they're efficient as the company is producing the flowers, as well as the training of the workers post-harvest. Our chapter compares very well with the KS 15, 1758, and it has far more requirements than the KS 1758. Good morning, my name is Richard McConnell. I'm the chairman of the National Horticultural Fair, and I'm also a roast breeder. Um, the horticultural industry in Kenya is one of the biggest in the world, but not probably the strongest. Uh, perhaps uh, there's too many hang-ups that we're paying double taxation on, on CES and a lot of other taxes which are really uh, not essential, uh, not applicable to the market. Uh, steamer is completely overpriced. Land is far, far more very expensive. If people want to go to Ethiopia, the land is free. The government supplies plenty of water and electricity. Um, it's four Kenyan partners. The first is the Water Resource Management Authority, or WARMA. Yeah, the, they're the uh, government agent that's dealing specifically with regulating and uh, enforcing the rules on water management. The Marisha Naivasha is a special program that was developed for Naivasha in response to the 2009 drought set up by, with the assistance of the Prince of Wales Foundation and the former office of the Prime Minister. They were set up in 2011 specifically with the mandate to monitor and coordinate the resource management activities and 
projects that are done in the Lake Naivasha Basin. So the reason obviously we have Kenya Flower Council is because Naivasha is a key floriculture production area. And Kenya Flower Council is a private association of, flower in, of the flower growers within Kenya. And at the moment actually KFC is now joining up with the vegetable, so FP, which is the veggie product, uh, producers group, and they're going to be forming the Kenya Horticulture Council. So we're actually moving quite forward in bringing together the whole export industry together. And lastly, of course, is us, Ken WWF Kenya. And our obviously our focus is conservation, so we're interested specifically in conserving the water resource.